All right, man, we back. Good fellow Sports TV. We're in the building. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Uh, we're going to talk about Michael Jordan and Bubba Wallace. But first, let me get my thoughts on Deion Sanders actually um, becoming the head coach of Jackson State University. Salute for somebody that went to a SWAC school. That's a good look for Deion Sanders. So let's talk about that first. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, this will be on the current events um, playlist. So, um, you know, the interest, he just signed a deal with Barstool Sports. Um, coming from the NFL Network. So I don't know if he's still going to give his opinion at Barstool Sports if that deal is done. Or is he they calling it off? Or he's still going to be able to kind of give his opinion but uh, college football is a 24-7 job for, for coaches. You got recruiting and developing, and you got to watch what everybody doing on your staff and stuff of that nature. So um, it's, it's very, very hard and strenuous, especially football, where you got to recruit. You know, you only get so many scholarships. You got to find walk-ons. And, you know, it should be interesting to see what Dion do. Um, am I excited? I'm very excited. Can Dion, you know, get some five-star recruits there? You know, you got... The, uh, the freshman was his name, Mikey Williams. He's saying he think about going to HBCU. You got uh, McCord Maker, who did go to uh, HBCU. Was it Hampton or Howard? I think it was Howard. Um, so, you know, if these dudes want to go the route of HBCU and go to historically black colleges, you got Mo Williams catching basketball at Alabama State. I went there. Um, now you got, you know, Deion Sanders at Jackson State coaching football. So, you know, hopefully it go well for those guys. They per pretty much the prototype right now or the test dummies. And if they can, you know, bring in, you know, good ratings or good players and get good records, then you're going to see more of these dudes go down there and start coaching college basketball and football and stuff of that nature. And I think with those icons being there, then you can kind of get some of these dudes that want to go to, you know, that might go to five stars, you know, be five star recruits and go to uh, the big schools. They might be able to go down there and do their thing. So, um, I expect Grambling Southern and a whole bunch of other schools, if we go well, um, Texas Southern, to really follow suit and um, look to bring Deion, you know, guys like Deion Sanders here. You know, we got Patrick Ewing at Georgetown, Jerry Stackhouse at Vanderbilt, Penny Hardaway um, at Memphis, and there's one more out there. I, I, I tend to, Juwan Howard at Michigan. I don't know how I forget that one. That's my school. So, uh, so hopefully it works well. I think it will. It was a, a tweet out there that Deion Sanders had hired T.O. and Warren Sapp to be part of his coaching staff. He denied that just a couple minutes ago. So he said that T.O. and Warren Sapp and, and a few other guys, Jason Phillips, uh, is not going to be on his coaching staff. He said this is how stuff gets started. So uh, I'm not sure how his coaching staff going to look. Is it going to be more professional or is it going to be, you know, mix of some professional guys and also some guys that play football that he know they can coach football or he, you know, he cool with. So we'll see. You know, you really can't put friendship in business. So if he do hire Warren Sapp or Terrell Owens to come coach uh, positional coaches, you got to be able to make sure that they won't break the rules. They won't get kids money. You got to make sure they can be disciplined. And you got to make sure if you got to fire them and they can't do the job, that you'll be able to fire them and worry about your personal relationship down the line. So that's something to look at as well, too. So I'm, congratulate, I'm congratulating Deion Sanders. Got high hopes for him and Mo Williams. They basically can be the door doorkeepers or the gatekeepers to other coaches getting big jobs across the country, not just in the SWAC and, SWAC and the MEAC. So we'll see what they can do down there. Uh, so salute to both of them. Mo Williams, the old player that used to play with uh, LeBron, he's the coach of the Alabama State basketball team now. So I want to also throw him in there too. So they blazing the trail, and hopefully more, more others will get the opportunity to follow after them. Now we got a situation here where, you know, Michael Jordan is now starting a racing team, and he's going to have Bubba Wallace as his first driver. And, um... That's good. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan is now starting to, you know, you know, benefit the black community for so many years. He thought it was commercially wrong to, you know, show favoritism to, to Democratic candidates, to Republican candidate candidates, whatever. He was one of those guys that did mix business, you know, with activism. And that, that's not his job to be an activist because you cannot be a, a corporate person and make all those all that money and be Rat and be radical. It just don't mix. And people are trying to say, well, LeBron is both. No, LeBron is a corporate puppet. You seen when it came down to morals and not playing because people social injustice. He shut the fuck up and didn't say nothing. And then he tried to pump fake a fake twenty four hour boycott. That just shows you that his loyalty is to the money and to Nike and to the NBA. And that's okay. You know, at the end of the day, who else gonna pay LeBron James bill? Now Michael Jordan in the twilight of his, you know, no, I ain't gonna say the twilight of his life, but towards another stage in his life, even though. 
you know, he married to that white woman. He left the sister. It is what it is. But he's at a at a point where now, you know, he ain't like Oprah. Oprah still got her tail between her legs. Now Michael Jordan is putting his money where his mouth is. Michael Jordan is now, you know, starting a racing team with a black with a black race car driver. So it's, it's good. You know, people say, well, Bubba Wallace cried about a noose. Uh, that was really a noose, but it wasn't a noose. It was there before. Still a noose. But at the end of the day, I think it's a good, you know, team uh, team or partnership for both of them. Hopefully, Jordan gets some really other good drivers. You know, it's kind of you know it's kind of funny that I don't know too many black drivers before Bubba Wallace, but you know, Danica Patrick, you know, where they don't like women or black people in NASCAR, she she kind of broke through before a lot of black drivers. I remember. So we'll see if if Michael Jordan continue to recruit black drivers and if NASCAR is willing to open their hands, open their doors to black drivers to you know, black, also patrons, you know what I'm saying, I actually love to go to the, uh, some of the races, you know, the, um, the Formula One races that come here, and, you know, I actually love the engines as a kid, and I don't think, no, most kids and most boys love the engines, and they love cars, so hopefully NASCAR, you know, they also, they got rid of Barstool Sports, we just spoke about them in, for a minute, they got rid of them because, you know, some racist things they said, I think, pertaining to Bubba Wallace, and now you got Michael Jordan starting a racing team. This could be a great, you know, thing for blacks to break through in racing and NASCAR. You know, we got a lot of black guys that do, or girls and guys, that do have the ability to race and be and be just as good as some of the other contemporaries out there in NASCAR. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can check our current news playlist out for more videos like this. We also got a Facebook group. All those links in the description. If you ever got a business question, call, response, your video quest, or you just want to, you know, chop it up with questions, want to make a donation, best way to donate is share the video. Cash app is CJ Good313. Dollar sign. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. We gonna